The Philippines has a tropical climate and the tropical rainforest is the country's natural vegetation cover. Most of the tropical rainforests exist in the equatorial region to within 10 degrees north and south latitudes, although there are formations that extend beyond these latitudes. The structure of a tropical rainforest can be described by looking at its composition and distribution of individuals within species, also known as species diversity. Another important characteristic of the tropical rainforest is its luxurious vegetation growing in a nutrient-poor soil. This condition is mostly due to the continuous leaching of nutrients for a very long period of time. Nutrient cycling involves the use, transformation, movement, and reuse of nutrients in an ecosystem. In the course of nutrient cycling, decomposition is considered as a crucial process maintaining the productivity of the forest ecosystem. Most processes result in the conversion of organic materials to inorganic forms making the nutrients available for the plants. A 10 by 20 meter quadrant was visited in the forest to identify, list down, and count the plant species found within the quadrant. Seedlings and tree species shorter than 30 cm were excluded. Past software was used to get the dominance and SID. 7 20 gram liter samples of freshly fallen leaf litter were collected and placed in a nylon net. Twigs and branches were not included. 4 of the 7 bags were pinned to the forest floor and allowed to decay for 2 weeks. The remaining three 20 gram samples were brought to the laboratory, wrapped in newspaper, and oven dried for one week. The dry weights were taken and designated as the initial weight. On the second week, the 4-liter bags were brought to the laboratory. They were wrapped in newspaper for oven drying and their dry weights were measured. After this, the rate of decomposition was computed with the formula. Rate of decomposition is equals to Ln times dry weight at time t over dry weight at next sampling period all over time in weeks. The remaining fourth bag was used for observation of the decomposer community. One gram of leaf litter from the remaining bag was used for microbial plating and identification of bacterial and fungal populations present. Photographs of the incubated agar plates were taken and printed out. The remaining contents of the third bag were spread out on a newspaper. The invertebrates collected were identified at least to the family level.